Hey there, fellow truth seekers. Ever had one of those days where you're just minding your own business and suddenly the world decides to throw you a curveball? Well, buckle up, because I've got a story that'll make your head spin faster than a snowflake in a blizzard. Picture this, a lone car cruising down a desolate, snow-covered road, cutting through the silence of a sleepy town. Behind the wheel sits Jake, a man with more stories etched into his face than the pages of a well-worn book. Once a military veteran, now an investigative journalist with a nose for trouble and a pen that never runs dry. Jake's just passing through, or so he thought. The rhythmic crunch of tires on snow is suddenly interrupted by the wail of sirens and the flash of red and blue lights. Two local cops, looking about as friendly as a pair of hungry wolves, pull him over. As Jake watches them approach in his rearview mirror, his gut tightens. He's been in sticky situations before, but something about this feels different. Maybe it's the isolation of the deserted road, or the way the officer's hands hover near their holsters. Whatever it is, Jake knows he's in for more than just a routine traffic stop. The tension in the air is thick enough to cut with a knife as the first officer taps on Jake's window. Little does anyone know, this seemingly ordinary encounter is about to snowball into something none of them saw coming. Strap in, folks. We're about to witness a showdown that'll make you question everything you thought you knew about power, justice, and the strength of the human spirit. The officers' voices cut through the frigid air like icy daggers as they barked orders at Jake. With rough hands, they yanked him from the warmth of his car, forcing him onto the freezing ground. The snow bit into his palms as he found himself face to face with the unforgiving asphalt. Let's see some push-ups, tough guy, one officer sneered, his breath visible in the cold. Maybe that'll warm you up. Jake's mind raced as he began the humiliating exercise. Each push-up sent a jolt of pain through his arms, the cold seeping into his bones. He couldn't help but think about how he'd ended up here memories of his past flashing before his eyes like a cruel slideshow. As he struggled through each repetition, Jake's thoughts drifted to the injustice of it all. He was just trying to get home, to put food on the table for his family. Now, here he was, being treated like a criminal, for no reason other than being in the wrong place at the wrong time. The officers stood over him, their laughter a stark contrast to Jake's labored breathing. He could feel their eyes on him, reveling in their display of power. With each push-up, Jake's determination grew. He knew he didn't deserve this treatment, and a fire began to burn within him, a fire that would soon turn the tables on his tormentors. As he continued the grueling exercise, Jake's mind sharpened. He began to formulate a plan, one that would not only get him out of this situation, but also expose the officers for their misconduct. With renewed energy, he pushed through the pain and humiliation, knowing that soon, very soon, he would have his moment of redemption. As Jake's muscles burned and his breath formed icy clouds in the frigid air, his mind drifted to the memories that had shaped him. The grueling military training he'd endured years ago seemed to pale in comparison to this moment. Yet it had instilled in him a resilience that now coursed through his veins. He recalled the sweltering heat of boot camp, the endless drills, and the camaraderie forged in shared hardship. But it was a different memory that truly fueled his determination now. Jake's thoughts turned to that fateful day when he'd stood up against corruption within his own unit. He'd witnessed his commanding officer accepting bribes, turning a blind eye to illegal activities that put civilians at risk. Despite the potential consequences, Jake had refused to stay silent. The backlash had been swift and severe. He'd faced isolation, threats, and attempts to discredit him. But Jake had stood his ground, driven by an unwavering belief in what was right. His actions had ultimately led to an investigation that rooted out the corruption, earning him both respect and resentment among his peers. Now, as he pushed against the icy ground, Jake drew strength from that pivotal moment. He'd faced intimidation before, 
and come out stronger. This incident on the snowy roadside was no different. The officers might have the upper hand for now, but Jake knew that true power lay in standing up for what's right, no matter the cost. With each push-up, Jake's resolve hardened. He wouldn't let this abuse of authority slide. Just as he had done before, he would find a way to turn the tables, to expose the truth, and to hold those responsible accountable. The memory of his past triumph against injustice fueled his determination, transforming his physical ordeal into a testament to his unyielding spirit. As Jake's arms burned with each push-up, his mind raced, analyzing every detail of the situation. Something wasn't quite right. Between labored breaths, he stole glances at the officers, noticing inconsistencies in their uniforms. The badges seemed off and their demeanor didn't match the professional conduct he'd expect from law enforcement. His journalistic instincts, honed over years of investigative reporting, kicked into high gear. The pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place. The unusual checkpoint, the aggressive behavior, the mismatched uniforms, it all pointed to something much bigger than a simple traffic stop. Jake's heart raced, not just from the physical exertion, but from the realization that he might have stumbled upon a major story. Could this be a case of impersonation? Or perhaps something even more sinister? A coordinated effort to intimidate and control the town's residents? Uh, as he continued his push-ups, Jake's mind whirled with possibilities. He recalled recent rumors of corruption in the local government, whispers of shady deals and unexplained disappearances. Could these officers be part of a larger conspiracy? Determined to uncover the truth, Jake knew he had to play it cool. He couldn't let on that he suspected anything was amiss. Instead, he focused on gathering as much information as possible, committing every detail to memory. The officers' faces, their mannerisms, the exact words they used, all of it could be crucial evidence. With each push-up, Jake's resolve strengthened. He was no longer just a victim of circumstance. He was a journalist on the verge of breaking a potentially explosive story. The tables were about to turn, and Jake was ready to expose whatever nefarious plot was unfolding in this seemingly quiet town. As Jake lowered himself to the ground for another push-up, he discreetly activated the hidden body camera nestled within his jacket. The cold bit into his palms, but a spark of determination flickered in his eyes. He knew this was his chance to turn the tables. Between labored breaths, Jake began to engage the officers in conversation. So, gentlemen, he panted, is this standard procedure for a routine traffic stop? His tone was carefully calibrated, curious but not confrontational. The younger officer chuckled. Nah, man. We just like to have a little fun sometimes. Keeps the job interesting, you know? Jake nodded, pushing himself up again. I bet. Must be a tough gig out here in the cold. How long have you guys been on the force? As he continued his impromptu workout, Jake skillfully steered the conversation, extracting tidbits of information while maintaining an air of compliance. He learned their names, their precinct, and even details about their supervisor all while appearing to be nothing more than a cooperative, if somewhat chatty, citizen. The officers, caught up in their perceived power trip, began to let their guard down. They shared anecdotes about other fun stops they conducted, unaware that every word was being recorded. Jake's muscles burned, and his breath came out in visible puffs in the frigid air. But with each push-up, he felt a growing sense of triumph. He was no longer just a victim of their whims. He was gathering evidence, building a case with every seemingly innocent question. As the officers laughed about another incident of questionable conduct, Jake allowed himself a small, hidden smile. The tables were indeed turning, and these officers had no idea that their moment of amusement was about to become a serious reckoning. As Jake completed his final push-up, a plan began to form in his mind. 
Years of military training had taught him to think on his feet, and now those skills were about to pay off. He slowly rose to his feet, his muscles aching from the exertion and the biting cold. The officers, seemingly satisfied with their display of authority, had begun to relax their vigilance. Jake knew this was his moment. With a sudden burst of energy, he pointed behind the officers and shouted, Look out! Bear! The officers, caught off guard, instinctively turned to look. In that split second of distraction, Jake seized his opportunity. He bolted, his feet pounding against the snow-covered ground as he sprinted away from the scene. The officers, realizing they'd been duped, scrambled to give chase. But Jake had the advantage of surprise and a head start. He weaved through the trees at the edge of the road, using the terrain to his advantage. His heart raced as he pushed himself harder, the cold air burning in his lungs. As he ran, Jake could hear the shouts of the officers growing fainter. The snowy landscape, which had seemed so oppressive just moments ago, now became his ally. The white expanse swallowed him up, making it difficult for his pursuers to track him. Jake didn't slow down until he was sure he'd put significant distance between himself and the officers. Finally, he allowed himself to catch his breath, leaning against a tree and looking back at the path he'd taken. The forest was quiet, save for the sound of his own heavy breathing. He'd done it. He'd turned the tables on his tormentors and reclaimed his freedom. As the adrenaline began to subside, Jake couldn't help but smile. The situation had been dire, but his quick thinking and resilience had seen him through. Now, as he stood alone in the snowy wilderness, he felt a sense of triumph. He'd faced adversity head-on and come out on top. With renewed determination, Jake set off to find his way back to civilization, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Over the next few days, Jake threw himself into a covert investigation of the town, determined to uncover the truth behind the corrupt system that had humiliated him. He started by observing the local police force, noting their routines and interactions with the townspeople. Jake's military training came in handy as he blended into the background, gathering snippets of conversations and following leads. As he dug deeper, a disturbing pattern began to emerge. Jake overheard hushed conversations about bribes, witnessed suspicious exchanges in dark alleys, and noticed how certain businesses seemed to operate above the law. He carefully documented everything, building a web of connections that linked the local police force to various town officials. Jake's breakthrough came when he managed to befriend a disgruntled clerk at the town hall. Over a few beers at a local dive bar, the clerk spilled the beans about a complex network of kickbacks and favors that kept the corrupt system running smoothly. Armed with this insider information, Jake was able to connect more dots, uncovering a shocking level of corruption that reached the highest levels of local government. He discovered that the police chief was in cahoots with the mayor, running a protection racket that extorted money from local businesses. Meanwhile, several council members were involved in a land development scheme that was displacing longtime residents for personal gain. The more Jake uncovered, the more outraged he became. As he pieced together the evidence, Jake realized that his own humiliating experience was just the tip of the iceberg. The corrupt officials had been abusing their power for years, preying on vulnerable citizens and lining their own pockets. With each new revelation, Jake's resolve strengthened. He knew he couldn't let this injustice stand, and he was determined to expose the truth, no matter the cost. As Jake delved deeper into the town's corruption, he realized he couldn't tackle this alone. He needed allies, people on the inside who could provide crucial information and support. His first breakthrough came when he met Sarah, a rookie cop who had joined the force with dreams of making a difference. Disillusioned by the rampant corruption she witnessed daily, Sarah was eager to help Jake expose the truth. Late one night, Jake and Sarah met at a dimly lit diner on the outskirts of town. Over cups of lukewarm coffee, Sarah shared insider information about the department's shady dealings and the officers involved. 
Her hands trembled as she passed Jake a USB drive containing incriminating evidence she had secretly collected. But Jake knew they needed more. That's when he crossed paths with Mike, the town clerk who had been meticulously documenting irregularities in local government contracts for years. Mike's office became their unofficial headquarters, where the trio pored over financial records and permit applications, connecting the dots between corrupt officials and their illicit activities. As their investigation progressed, the danger increased. Jake and his newfound allies had to be careful, communicating through encrypted messages and meeting in secluded locations. They worked tirelessly gathering testimonies from intimidated business owners and tracking suspicious money transfers. With each piece of evidence they uncovered, Jake felt a mix of excitement and dread. They were building a solid case, but the stakes were higher than ever. If they were caught, the consequences would be severe. Yet, the thought of finally bringing justice to this town fueled their determination. As weeks turned into months, their case grew stronger. Jake, Sarah, and Mike knew they were close to exposing the entire corrupt network. But with the finish line in sight, they also realized that the most dangerous part of their journey was yet to come. They would need to be more vigilant than ever as they prepared to bring their evidence to light and turn the tables on the corrupt officials who had terrorized the town for far too long. With the evidence securely in hand, Jake's heart raced as he marched into the town hall. The corrupt officers and officials were gathered for their usual meeting, unaware that their world was about to be turned upside down. Jake burst through the doors, his eyes blazing with determination. Gentlemen, he announced, his voice steady despite the adrenaline coursing through his veins, I think it's time we had a little chat about justice in this town. The room fell silent, all eyes fixed on Jake. Officer Benson, the ringleader of the corrupt group, sneered, What's this about, Jake? Come to do some more push-ups for us? Jake's lips curled into a knowing smile. Actually, I'm here to make you sweat for a change. He pulled out a folder and tossed it onto the table. Photos, bank statements, and transcripts of damning conversations spilled out. The color drained from the faces of those present as they realized the gravity of the situation. Jake methodically laid out the evidence piece by piece exposing their web of corruption, bribery, and abuse of power. You see, Jake continued, his voice growing stronger with each word, while you were busy humiliating me and others like me, you forgot one crucial thing. We're not as powerless as you think. Officer Benson lunged forward, but Jake stood his ground. I wouldn't do that if I were you, he warned. This evidence is already in the hands of state investigators and the media. Your little empire is crumbling as we speak. The tension in the room was palpable. Some of the lesser officials began to crack, looking to each other nervously. Jake had successfully turned the tables, transforming from a victim to the holder of their fates. So, gentlemen, Jake concluded, his voice laced with righteous satisfaction, Who's ready for some metaphorical push-ups in the court of law? Jake's meticulous evidence gathering and unwavering determination finally paid off. The state-level investigation he triggered sent shockwaves through the corrupt system that had long plagued the town. As investigators poured over the documents, audio recordings, and video footage Jake had painstakingly collected, the true extent of the corruption came to light. One by one, arrests were made. Officers who had abused their power, politicians who had accepted bribes, and business owners who had exploited the system all found themselves facing justice. The town watched in a mixture of disbelief and relief as those who had once seemed untouchable were led away in handcuffs. The dismantling of the corrupt network was not without its challenges. Some fought back, attempting to discredit Jake and the investigation. But the evidence was too overwhelming, and the truth could no longer be buried. As the dust settled, the town began its journey towards reform and transparency. New leadership emerged, committed to rebuilding trust with the community. Town hall meetings became forums for open dialogue, 
where citizens could voice their concerns and contribute to positive change. Jake, once ostracized and targeted, was now hailed as a hero by many. His perseverance in the face of adversity had not only vindicated him, but it also paved the way for a brighter future for the entire town. Schools began incorporating civic responsibility and ethics into their curricula, inspired by Jake's story of standing up against injustice. The road to complete reform would be long, but the first crucial steps had been taken. As winter gave way to spring, there was a palpable sense of hope in the air. The town that had once been trapped in a cycle of corruption was now embracing a new chapter of accountability and progress all thanks to one man's refusal to back down in the face of intimidation. As Jake drove home, the weight of his experience settled over him like a heavy blanket. The sting of the cold air and the ache in his muscles served as constant reminders of what he'd endured. But with each passing mile, a fire began to burn within him, a renewed sense of purpose and determination. This wasn't just about him anymore. It was about every person who had ever been wrongfully treated, every voice that had been silenced by those in power. Jake realized that his ordeal could be the catalyst for change, a way to shine a light on the darker corners of law enforcement. He gripped the steering wheel tighter, his mind racing with possibilities. This story, his story, had the potential to expose systemic issues and spark meaningful dialogue. As a journalist, he had always sought to uncover the truth, but now it felt personal. He had lived it, breathed it, and pushed through it. Jake made a decision right then and there. He would pour everything he had into making this his next big investigative piece. He'd dig deeper, interview others who had faced similar situations, and piece together a comprehensive expose that couldn't be ignored. As he pulled into his driveway, Jake felt a mix of exhaustion and exhilaration. The path ahead wouldn't be easy. He knew he'd face resistance, maybe even threats. But the thought of giving a voice to the voiceless, of challenging a broken system, filled him with a sense of purpose he hadn't felt in years. He stepped out of his car, the cold air hitting his face once more. But this time, instead of feeling defeated, Jake stood tall. He was no longer just a victim of circumstance. He was a man on a mission, ready to turn the tables and fight for justice, one word, one story at a time. As the dust settles on Jake's incredible journey, we see him standing tall, his eyes fixed on the camera. The once intimidated man now exudes confidence and purpose. Jake takes a deep breath and addresses us directly, his voice steady and resolute. You know, when I started this fight, I never imagined I'd be standing here today, Jake begins, a hint of wonder in his voice. I was just one person, facing what seemed like an insurmountable wall of corruption and injustice. But that's the thing. It only takes one person to start a ripple that becomes a wave. He pauses, his gaze intensifying. I'm not special. I'm just like you. Someone who saw something wrong and decided to do something about it. And that's the message I want to leave you with today. You have the power to make a difference in your community, in your workplace, in your world. Jake's voice grows passionate as he continues. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you're too small, too weak, or too insignificant to fight injustice. Every great change in history started with one person who refused to back down. So I'm asking you, no, I'm challenging you, to stand up, speak out, be that person in your community. He smiles, a mix of determination and hope lighting up his face. It won't be easy, trust me, I know. You might face ridicule, resistance, even danger. But remember this, the only way injustice and corruption can thrive is if good people stay silent. Your voice, your actions, they matter more than you know. As the video draws to a close, Jake's final words ring out, a call to action for us all. So go out there, make some noise, turn some tables, because you never know. Your push-up in the snow might just be the start of something incredible.